First game, we got the super standard team with Slowbro today. We're going up against Snorlax, Aerodactyl. Ooh, there's a Mewtwo there. Wow, this guy's team is so serious. Why does it have to be so serious? Like, Aerodactyl is a huge pain for this team because, like, we have Beedrill and stuff like that. So, but if we can get the Aerodactyl off the board, uh, there's major ways that, like, uh, our Beedrill can be working against that Mewtwo. It's probably going to go Mewtwo X, which definitely sucks. But... Uh, we have Starmie here, and this is a very specific Starmie because it has Hydro Pump, which can one-shot, uh, like, Aerodactyls and stuff. You guys can't even... There you go. See, Hydro Pump right there. So, we're going to be using Hydro Pump. Yeah, I heard Esam won a major the same day Ash won. So, yeah, we're going to lead Starmie here. Uh, he's probably going to lead Aerodactyl. Like I said, if I can trade very effectively for this Aerodactyl, that would be great. That would be absolutely great. Ash, a regional champion. Now he has enough CP for Worlds. I mean, you don't get enough CP to qualify for Worlds off just winning a regional. So it looks like Ash still needs to go to some more locals. All right, here we go. Going to the first game. This is going to be really hard. Uh, Mewtwo, Poliwrath. I have two Psychic types. So you can fight the Poliwrath. But it's like Mewtwo, Aerodactyl, Muck. Like, Muck is going to be a major pain. Like, my team has, like, Starmie, Slowbro. Muck is going to be an absolute chore to deal with. There's the Muck. He's starting it off strong. I don't know if I should switch. I can eat one Crunch. But if, like, I go for the... If I go for the Scald, don't get the Burn. Like, Muck is just going to absolutely run us over. So it's really, really hard to say exactly what I should do here. I don't want to switch into any of these things, really. I guess I could switch into the Snorlax, but I don't want to switch into Crunch. It's just, like, such a waste. And if he just goes with Minimize, like, I'm, I, I have to switch to Snorlax, guys. I have to. I don't want to. I could also switch to, like, Venusaur, but I kind of have to switch to this. And Venus, or sorry, Snorlax is a kind of a bad matchup for Zapdos. Because, like, he pops a Toxic here, switches the Zapdos to block my EQ, he can just kind of roost me out. Goes for a Foul Play. That also sucks. I should have just stayed in with Starmie. So, Foul Play. Look at that damage. That's absolutely massive damage right now. And we are actually going to go for a Body Slam, because I would love to hit the Aerodactyl on the Switch. He's going to be expecting Earthquake, so he might switch to Zapdos. He might switch to Aerodactyl. I'd love whatever damage I get to stick. And if we, if, like, I were to hit that Body Slam, if I were to get the Para on that Muck, uh, I'd be able to Earthquake it next turn. So, we're hoping to see Zapdos. Yeah, it's always Zapdos. Like, Zapdos always comes in to deal with Snorlax. It happens every single time. I wouldn't be surprised to see a Toxic here. Uh, we are going to be going for an Ice Punch. But it, it would it would suck to go... Oh, he's going for a U-turn. All right. I wonder what he's U-turning into. Yo, can I get a Young Freeze? Can we put some RNGs up? Can we put some RNGs up and hopefully I get that big Freeze? Come on, let me freeze that Mewtwo, yo. Let me freeze that Mewtwo. I'd love to see an Aerodactyl, too. Like, oh my gosh. Show me what you're working with. Polyrath? Oh, it's Aerodactyl. Ice Punch. Oh, this is going to be great. Bam! Wham, bam! Thank you, man. No freeze. Never lucky. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Yo, got to catch those oranges later. I want to see if he pops those rocks. He pops those rocks, but, like, he lost the... This is, an, this is actually an almost better situation because my Starmie isn't just chilling on the board waiting for him to send Muck to counter. He's going to be able to send, like, Mewtwo to counter, but then, like, we're going to be able to force this Mewtwo into a potential Mewtwo X. Oh, we might send out the Polyrath. And I'm, I'm fine with that, too. I'll just switch into Slowbro. I think we're I think we're almost in a decent spot. Like Aerodactyl was the issue. We can fight a Mewtwo X with Beedrill. It's 100 percent possible. There's the big polyrath. Is it worth it to save? I think it is worth it to save this thing. Have you decided on a start yet for Sword and Shield? I'm probably just gonna go with whatever one can beat the game fastest. But let's see. Starter for Sword and Shield. I'm actually thinking like maybe Sobble. If I had to pick like aesthetics wise, Sobble's probably my favorite. I usually like the grass starters, but I don't like monkeys. Monk, I think monkeys are weird. So, like, monkeys, like Infernape. Infernape's weird. Uh, what's another monkey? Like, Mankey and Primate are okay, but, like, I don't like Ambipom. So, I I don't really like monkeys. So, like, Grookey's kind of like, that's what I mean, like, it's a monkey. I, I really think this person is going to go right into the muck, so I'm going to pop a Thunder Wave. I really think that muck's coming in. Show me the muck, yo. I want to see it. Show it to me. Oh, yeah. Thunder Wave, you think it might not matter that much, but it actually is going to matter because, like, it's not the speed control in the muck that you need. Obviously, my team mostly outspeeds this thing, but it's the... If he stayed in with the Polyrath and decided to, like, set up and go for, like, Earthquake in a couple turns, I'd be able to, like, mess with it. I'm going to go with Grookey. Yeah, most people are, I think. I think a lot of people are. Normally, I would, but it's just not what I'm feeling. Key Wave Slowbro, it's good, yo. And I, I you would have said, like, why don't you want the burn? It's like, not really. I don't really need the burn. And Slowbro's doing exactly what it has to here. Just going for Scald. Getting that big damage in right now. Obviously, we're not going Mega Slowbro. We need to go for Mega Beedrill this game. It'd be really cool to get a uh, 
Para, Para, show it to me. Oh, it's almost like we put those oranges up for a reason. Yo, those oranges from earlier coming back to reality. Now let's see what he has. I mean, you're gonna switch, Chief? You're gonna switch? Remember, I still have a Doug Trio in the back. And now I don't even need Doug Trio because, like, Muck's gonna be gone. Yo, Narf's coming in Twitch Prime. That's six months Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, my friend. Welcome to the Metapod Squad. Everyone putting those subs up. Putting those subs up. You know I love to see it. Let's go. Let's get it. Here we go. One, two, three. Eyes on me. Can we get a burn on this Mewtwo? Can we get a humongous burn on this Mewtwo? Come on. Come on. 30% of the time. Not today. Not today, but that's good damage on Mewtwo. That puts Mewtwo within range for Beedrill. Like, that's exactly what we need to see. Foxy, I think you would go uh, score Bunny. What's up, plus one? How's it going, Recon, my friend? How you been? But Narfs, thank you so much. Twitch Prime, six months. You know that means a heck of a lot, and... We couldn't do this without you, my friend. I always love you popping in here. Should you go for the Scald? Uh, he's probably going to go. I love that we're seeing him force Mega here. That is so, so good for me. We are going to meet you. Why? That's even better. Because we're going to be able to go like Beedrill and absolutely punish this. And we see the Shadow Ball. We see like everything about his moveset. I didn't have to force any switches. I didn't have to do anything I didn't want to do. And we're just in a great spot for Beedrill. Like he has that low HP Muck. He has a Polyrath. But like... I'll take one tick. I'll take one big tick of Stealth Rock's damage in going for a U-turn here. He's probably going to go into his Polyrath. We'll send something like, like Starmie to check. Starmie can finish off his Muck from here. Starmie can do a lot of damage to that Zapdos. The only game I didn't pick a Grass-type was Platinum and X and Y. Um, I, I, I usually always like Grass-types the most, but I just don't... Unless Grookey's like, final form looks really, really cool, I don't think I'm going to like it. Like, Score Bunny, I usually like Grass and Fire-types, so like Score Bunny looks really, really cool. Uh, but Sobble looks like it could be, like, in the Dragon Egg group, and I've, I'm totally down for, like, a... It looks kind of like a water septile, potentially. That's kind of what I'm thinking of. There's the Polyrath. That's exactly what I was talking about. So we're going to U-turn here. It sucks I'm taking that big Stealth Rocks damage, but I'm going to be able to go right into a Starmie and be able to check this guy. And I know that the Mewtwo has Shadow Ball, but there's only a, there's a limited amount of Pokemon that you can check with this. And also, like, I could Sucker Punch from Doug Trio. We still have a Snorlax, kind of. Uh, I could even come in with a Venusaur here, I think. I think I can even have more Venusaur instead of coming in with that. The Starmie, because, like, I come with this. Would he just hard switch? I think I'm going to come in with Venusaur. I think Venusaur might be a little bit better than wasting HP off my Starmie right now. Because I feel if I send out Starmie and use Psyche, he's going to switch to his Mewtwo mill to Shadow Ball Venus. If I come in with this, right? If I come in with Venusaur, if I come in with Venusaur, uh, we're just going to go for a Sleep Powder. I want to see if he switches to Mewtwo. I want to see it. Like, obviously, Mega Drain wouldn't get a KO. Go to is usually Fire Water Starters. I like the Water Starters when they're, like, Dragony. Like, Totodile was a cool Water Starter. I think Gen 2 had the best overall starters, because Chick is my favorite starter of all time. Uh, Totodile and its whole line are amazing. And Typhlosion is, like, one of the coolest final evolutions. Cyndaquil isn't amazing. But it is amazing. Like, I like, I, li I have, like, a bunch of Cyndaquil plushies. Cyndaquil is probably the plushie I have the most of. And Typhlosion is just so cool, so rad. So... I think Gen 2 had the best overall. I'd love to get a Leech Seed up. I think I'm just going to go for Mega Drain. It's alright. I, I want to get Rocks up on this guy, but I don't know if he's ever going to let me. Are you going to Mewtwo right now? Are you an absolute unit right now, or is it Zapdos? Snorlax. I should have Leech Seeded. Alright. Get a little bit of help back for Leech Seed up. Bayleaf was Bay. I mean, Bayleaf was okay. I mean, Meganium, like, I liked Chikorita. Bayleaf was cool. But Meganium was just not what I was about. I should have leech seed the last turn. There we go. Leech seeds up. I'm not going to break the sleep cause. I don't think I have to. Putting that polyrath to sleep means Beedrill can kind of stay in against it. Goes for a yawn. Do I care? Because I have the seed up, right? I have the seeds up. Do I care about this yawn? That's actually a really good question. Like, I, I don't want to take, like, free damage. Obviously, we can't put any free damage on Starmie. Don't want any free damage on Doug Trio. I don't want any free damage on any of these Pokemon. But I think I could probably get away with, like, switching to my Snorlax. Because Snorlax can probably soak one attack from this guy. And be able to get that off. I think I'm going to risk it for the Biscuit. I, I don't want to get put to sleep on my Venusaur. That would be very, very not great. Very not great. We'll see. I'm just going to Body Slam. That would be so lame. I hate when they go Body Slam. Protect. I knew it. I knew he was going to protect. Look at the value here. Look at it. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Look at how much health I get back. High pain care, old guy. I mean, rude. But, hello, friend. I'm about to just pop a big S in right space. I'm just gonna go right 
Perfect time. Imagine the best region having the best starters. I know, like Johto is so good. I want to stream Soul Silver. I have a copy. I have a copy of Soul Silver. I can most definitely stream that game. Can we get the para? Can we get a full para right now? RNG EQ. That's totally fine. Go for your EQs all you want. We most definitely. Look at that. That's so good. I'm something tasty. How's it going? Yeah, let's go Johto. Yeah, I'm sign me up for that. I kind of want to just pop that big SD. It's okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to self-destruct and select next Pokemon. So he has Protect, Yawn, EQ. What a weird set. Probably has like Facade as the last slot. He might have like something weird. Might just have EQ for coverage. Like he might have like Toxic on that last slot. I'm, I'm serious because that's why EQ would be there. So you could like EQ Mux and literally Toxic anything else. In Johto second gen... By the way, didn't just sound weird, just hello, just joke. I get you, I get you. Um, yeah, JoJo's Gen 2. All right, here we go. If you use the wrong move, Chief, you pop a Calm Mind, if you pop a Recover, you about to be eating that big damage, my friend. You need to be using the correct move. Ice Beam? Don't think that's going to cut a Thunderbolt? Not today. Soul Silver Stream when? Maybe, maybe later this week? Maybe later this week? Who knows? Just for the Psychic, that's the correct choice. Are we extra thick enough? Mewtwo Y... Yeah, it's it's a Mewtwo Y, guys. What do you what do you want from me? What do you want from me? It's a Mewtwo Y. Uh, let's see, like Doug Trio, Sucker Punch, up to SP Baby. Is that enough? Let me try it. I don't think it's enough, but I think it might be enough to like almost like two Sucker Punches. Cause I don't think Psychic KOs me. Go for it. Let's go. Let's roll these dice. And remember, like I said, this team is not made to fight Mewtwo's. It's made to fight, like, Mews, which are a little bit different. Like, a little they are a little bit different. Just a little bit. Like, Mew Psychic would not have killed that Snorlax. But a Mega Mewtwo Y with, like, it's, like, 70 base more special attack? Maybe that does. I'm waiting on him. He might just switch. I, I would be okay with that. What's he going to do? Switch to an Asleep Polyrath? Switch to a Zapdos? I'd love to set up Rock, because Rock's plus Sucker from this range might do it. But he's, he's waiting he's waiting a long time for this turn. We sucker Punch? Oh, we hit that Sucker Punch. Survey says, not enough. Does he gonna Ice Beam me? Earthquake Mewtwo Y! What? What? Earthquake Mewtwo Y? That sucks. I thought he was gonna, like, Psychic me, you know? He had Psychic Shadow Ball. I was like, I can live with those. That really does suck. We have to send Beedrill out. I, I, he just Shadow Balls my Starmie, right? I just lose it, I think. Because we already have Rock Step. Yeah, we just go Beedrill. It sucks that we have to, like, take all this damage, right? Yeah, Rabombi's really cool. Rabombi's cool Pokemon. Yeah, he has this Zapdos. The good thing is he's having low enough to where I don't have to U-turn. I can just go for Poison Gap. He has Mewtwo, Polyrath, Zapdos, Muck. Mewtwo, Polyrath, Zapdos, Muck. Zapdos is already... I don't know if Zapdos is chipped yet, actually. Just gonna go for a poison jab. He's gonna withdraw, obviously. Now, Polyrath has had one turn of sleep happen, right? So, we'll see. I wish I would've got rocks up early this game. Let's see how much damage poison jab actually does. I have to I have to keep going for this. We gotta get a two-turn sleep on Polyrath. Come on. Don't wake up! Don't you wake up. Don't you dare wake up. My favorite bug is Volcrona. Yo, there's so many good bugs. Butterfree is my favorite bug. I like Heracross a lot. Volcrona's pretty good. I like Fortress. Uh, like Scissor's okay. There's so many good bugs in Gen 5. Yeah. Please don't wake up. Come on. Let's, oh, let's just get the KO. Who even cares if you wake up? That's right. Yo, Beedrill. You no slouch, right? I know you got those rocks up on me, but... Yo, we thriving out here. Now, how much damage is this Zapdos actually taking? If I hit, I hit it with a Body Slam, right? That's it? How much damage are you taking? I gotta U-turn it. I gotta U-turn into... I have Starmie and what? Venusaur? Ooh, that's great. I mean, it's not great, great, but like, I can U-turn Beedrill into Starmie. Sorry, into Venusaur. And then this is my, that'll be my last chance. My last, my one chance, my one shot, my one opportunity. We will have Hydreigon. Hydreigon's pretty good. Yo, Shaftmaster coming in eight months. My friend, how you been? Eight months. Guys, put some subs up. Put some subs up for Shaftmaster. Pop in the resub. Eight months. You'll love seeing a Shaftmaster. How you been, my friend? Shaftmaster 2 and 2, guys. Subs up. Subs up, yo. 
hopefully they're uh, getting in stream pretty soon. I know there's like, always a ton of ads. He goes for the roost. I love seeing it. Imagine if I just poison jabbed and got the poison and he roosted and I would have poison jabbed again and won the game. But you know what? So it looks like this guy's pretty good. Looks like this guy's pretty good. Oh, we're gonna have sleep powder. I don't think he has sub. Imagine three resubs in one day. I mean, oh, he has drill pack. I gotta hit this. Survey says. Oh no, we just lost. That's game. That's game. We just lost. I think that's game. Ah. I mean, resubs happen all the time. We get. We actually get a lot of subs. A lot of subs. What's good? What's up, guys? I've been good. How are you? Yo, I'm doing absolutely flawless, my friend. How you been? How you been? I actually have a strategy for this. Watch. The strategy is send out this thing and so whenever I want to U-turn it I won't die and I can still use U-turn so I want Starmie to die I mean I don't want it to die but like you guys get the idea here we go the biggest psychic I kind of want to go for a hydro pump but if I miss it I just lose right if I miss I lose so I'm just gonna go for a big psychic that's not big enough roost then all right I mean roost I don't know if that's the play because I really don't I get a special key drop. I'm gonna go for a hydro pump. All right, cool. Hit that hydro pump. I think he's thunderbolt in this turn. I think he thinks he's healthy enough. Look at this big damage, modest Starmie hydro pump, thunderbolt. Perfect. That's like, that should be enough range for a poison jab to KO. It should be enough range. It should be. Hopefully, it doesn't. This guy doesn't time me. There's like five minutes left. He could totally do it. Here we go. B drill. This is your last shot, B drill. I got Poison Jab on the Zapdos. I can U-turn the Muck. Muck's totally low enough to U-turn, and U U2's within U-turn range. So I think this is within P-Jab range, guys. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I mean, I gotta go for it. I gotta go for it. Poison Jab, come on. Give me that big damn. Give me that big damn. Oh my gosh. It's almost like I have enough damage. We are coming back. We are coming back. The reverse sweep from Beedrill. Probably gonna lose right now. I'm sad. Why do you always do that? You always have a glass half empty. Have you noticed that? Have you had a you haven't noticed that? You always have a glass half empty. You gotta remember. I'm the best that there ever is, ever was, ever will be. I'm always good, big guy. Having trouble catching the streams with work. Glad I caught this one, yo. I'm glad you caught this one too. Hopefully work is going flawless, my friend. And you know we'll always be here. You know we'll always be here. Always on the YouTube, always on Twitch. We're everywhere. Yeah. I'm emp I'm always empty, or am I? I mean, it, you are. You're always glass half empty. Pop that U-turn. Actually, it would have been stronger to use Outrage here, but this should be enough. Oh, I'm the best. Hey, man, we came back. That was a super uber team, hella serious team, and our standard OU team beat it. That's a good team. I think you kind of have to lead Starmie here, but I don't really want to. Starmie's a solid lead, though. It's not too great against anything but like Golem, but like we can Thunder Wave Dragonite, we can Psychic Venusaur. Uh, if it's his Starmie, we switch to our Snorlax. If it's his uh, Mewtwo, we soak the Shadow Ball and just Thunder Wave it. Hope he doesn't set sub. Alright, we go. Alright, Tinker Bro, Q to 5, final level 16, once more Draining Kiss. Yo, rats. I hope they would go on. That'd be awesome. They're not. Oh my gosh, they did. All right, cool. That's great. I mean, I know they want them rocks, but like, come on, man. I got like Starmie, Slowbro, Venusaur. Is he just going to switch his Starmie? I'm super fine with him switching his Starmie and getting a burn. I'm super fine with him just losing his Golem, too. That'd be awesome. Part of me really wants a Thunder Wave on the Switch, though. That'd be so raw. That's fine. Um, he's gonna switch with Starmie probably. Soak the Scald. And then I'll switch my Snowlocks to Soak the Thunderbolt. And we'll be fine. Zapdos, okay. Relatively the same play, but like Zapdos is like way. I would much rather burn a Zapdos. Actually, if I burn the Zapdos, I might change the way I play this. Nah, I didn't. That got you a lot. Would he Thunderbolt? Do I care? I think he's gonna Thunderbolt. I'm gonna switch to Dugtrio. He might U-turn back into the golem. I could totally see that, but that's a little bit of, that's a little bit of a weird play. I don't feel like this guy has those that big brain play. He led golem. How'd you sound the zapper? I don't feel like big brain of U-turn. Yep. Free rocks. He U-turn now. Well, like a 
take those free, take those free stealth rocks. You can switch back to the golem, but like rocks are up, yo. The damage has been done. Think about what. I'm gonna switch in my Venusaur. And I always say don't switch Venusaur on Venusaur, but like I said, I really don't think he's gonna be able to punish those doubles. What about it? We're not playing doubles today. We're playing singles today. Today we're playing some singles. Some let's go singles today. Venusaur popping off. Show me Sleep Powder, Mega Drain. Hey, that's the play. I know you made a video on Alolan Golem, but does Regular Golem have anything going for it? Oh, definitely. Regular Golem has a lot of stuff going for it. Uh, it's very similar to Rhydon, but it's faster than Rhydon. So think of it like a Rhydon, but like there are certain matchups where like you're really, really ahead because you're a little bit faster. So like you can outspeed uh, like Mucks and weird stuff like that. Yeah, Golem beats Muck or Rhydon. Yep, that's exactly what I'm saying. Yep. What is the nature for Alolan Sand Slash? And let's go. Uh, I've used... I've used a few. Uh, the currently the one I have is Adamant, but like I think like Careful and Impish are also good. I haven't seen anyone use a Jolly one, but like Adamant is a standard, standard one. Dragonite switching on Stealth Rocks and Slug Bomb. I don't know, Chief. Yeah, Golem's totally good. I think a Golem Golem's better because it doesn't have that four times weakness, but like it's okay. Probably most just need to see here because he might just switch, but. Sludge Bomb's lazy, but it should be enough. Cool. And that's the reason why we're timid, guys. 80 base speed out speed. Timid Venus. That's why we won the Venusaur Mirror. Help us win the Dragonite. 80 base speed ties. Cool. Golem's my faves. I just know he's rough past Gen 1. Now, Golem's fine. Golem's good. He's very similar to Rhydon. It's just that I, I think also Golem. I think Golem can learn superpower and Rhydon can't. I think that's one of my main things. I know my Alolan Golem set has superpower on. I don't think you should switch. I'm in such a good position here that I'm actually going to stay in and fodder Venusaur to punish sub. If I switched out and he subbed, I would, like, lose, right? But if I just stay in, like, let's say he's, he was Mega Mewtwo X and he's, like, bulk ups. Or Mega Mewtwo Y and, like, call mines and start setting up. I want to punish this. That's cold. That's totally fine. I have absolutely no problem with the Psychic. Like, it sucks for us our Venusaur, but we're so ahead. We have rocks up. We have KOs. We're going to KO this Mewtwo in a second. And if he wants to, like, hard switch away from our Beedrill, like, we're gonna go right back into our Starmie, punish his Golem. You get the idea. So it's one of those keeping him honest plays. And that's what, that's what Pokemon's all about, keeping people honest, yo. Mega U-turn. And we should be able to get a KO here. I say should be able to get a KO here. That'd be quite nice. He's staying in. Please let me get that KO. Come on, Beedrill. Don't stop me now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe come on with Starmie. Starmie can pin, pin the golem. And if he doesn't have his Starmie, I think he still has his Starmie, right? Uh, we can just unset balls. I think I'd switch to, like, Snorlax or something. He has a Starmie, though, right? Don't you have a Starmie? We'll see. We'll see. What do you guys think we're going to send out here? What do you guys think we're going to see? Zapdos. Ooh, Zapdos. Rocks damage, rocks damage. That's, that's Zapdos. Peace. Do you have a Starmie? He does. Why don't you send a Starmie? That's, that's good. I'll psych it. Battles cancel you. I'll take those wins! You can't even tell me I didn't play that one right. I did. Most definitely.